order to shift and really be able to track these higher quality guys, you know, the ones that many of you want and are not getting responses from, you have to get on their frequency. So it is a beautiful day in LA. I am just, it's like the birds are chirping, the butterflies, there's tons of butterflies. My garden is coming to life. It's just, it's really a great day. And great day for, to talk about vibrating at a higher frequency, right? How do you do that? So here's the thing. So many of the women I talk to tell me I can't find any guys I like, like I'm not, you know, I go online, I search, I search, I search, and they're just the kind of guys I'm looking for aren't on there. And, you know, or I, I start with them, but then I talk to them and I just, you know, they're not my guys. I can't find anybody. And so then I dig a little deeper and I find out, wait a minute, you know, there are certainly men that this person is attracted to. It's just that the ones that she's attracted to aren't attracted to her and vice versa. And so what's really happening is she's not on the radar or the frequency of the men that she wants. She's on this other frequency and she doesn't like what she's getting, right? And so in order to shift and really be able to track these higher quality guys, you know, the ones that many of you want and are not getting responses from, you have to get on their frequency. And when I say that, I do not mean that you need to get breast implants or cheek implants or whatever or dress a certain way or be a stick figure yes that is going to get you attention for your body what i'm talking about is this is an inside job right it's got it has everything to do with your understanding of men your self-confidence the degree to which you have loved and, and accepted yourself truly like not at a superficial level but really done some work on yourself to really forgive yourself and accept who you are and be okay like love that person right that's all work that you have to do on yourself before you can attract that man, even if you were stunningly beautiful from head to toe. And I've seen this, I live in Los Angeles and I've worked with breathtakingly beautiful women, right? But it didn't matter for them, it was no different if they weren't feeling confident and lovable and loved, right? They couldn't make this happen. And here's the thing, men can really pick up on this, right? Just like if you sit across from a needy man on a date and he's anxious or needy or whatever, it's a turn off to you, right? Well, men can pick up on whether or not you're a drama queen or, um, you know, you have a, an emotional trigger finger, right? Or if you're harsh, if you are not understanding and kind and, you know, the kind of person that can talk about things rationally, they're looking for that. They want, you know, so there are things that so many women are not doing. We're not, you know, and then we go out there and we're just, we're not on their, their frequency and we're not self-aware. So, this is stuff that you have to start to build an awareness around and what i do with my clients i walk them through a number of exercises that really dig in and get them to start to identify these their patterns and their behaviors that are unattractive and pushing men away there is so much of this that we do inadvertently in our tone of voice in our body language you know not just in our words but now, there are ways that we're communicating negative messages to men and we don't even know it. So, um, yeah, if you want to attract those higher quality guys, those men that seem elusive to you and you're not getting attention from them, even if I sat one of them down in front of you on a date right now, you would probably sabotage it. Many of you are going to say, no, I wouldn't, I want it, I'm ready. But the truth is, if that were really true, you'd be there because those guys are out there. You know, they're just not asking you out. And it has nothing to do with your looks or your age or your skin color or any of that. It has to do with, with what's going on inside of you, right? So in order to shift, in order, you're gonna have to do some work on yourself, right? Like I did 
I did many years of work on myself to be able to attract a beautiful partner. This did not just happen for me. Um, yeah, so you're gonna have to do some work on yourself to really shift your frequency so that you can start to attract these higher quality guys. The great news is, once you start doing it, it's like my clients find very, very, very quickly. It's like they, like within the first week, or two of starting to work with me, they start to feel liberated. I've had clients say to me, Lisa, how did I not know this stuff? Like every person on the planet should take your course. If somebody said this to me. She said, I, I've, you know, I'm 64 years old and I have done so much work on myself. And she said, how did I not know this stuff? And it was really crazy, it was really sweet. But yeah, there's just so much that we don't know we don't know. And then we go out and try to date and we have these very um, beautiful dreams of what we're looking for, but we don't have the emotional makeup to be able to actually uh, manifest that dream. Not, not right now, it doesn't mean we're not gonna get there, but there's still work to do or else we would already have it. So if you're ready to do some more, you know, dive into this and start to liberate yourself from this, uh, um, you know, roller coaster or hamster wheel that you've been on, you know, with your dating and you're ready to get unstuck and you just want answers, will you do me a favor? Just go to lisashield.com and then either watch my webinar, best 45 minutes you will ever spend on your love life. And if you like that, you can sign up for a call with me or if you really are thinking that you want to coach with me, um, I had 12 weddings of my clients just last year in Los Angeles and I officiated four of those weddings. So, right, success rate. So if you want to really find out how to do this and just get this thing solved, then jump on a call with me and I will show you how we're going to do it.